Hello, it's the Picklin Parson here, and I have completed the process of spicing a beef round. I've cut the round in half, so uh, this is about, a, I'd say a 10 or 12 pound piece of the round, and uh, this other piece over here that I'll get to in a moment, um, I've already started cutting on a bit. It's a little bit heavier by a pound or two, I would imagine. But this, of course, is the Wynn Family recipe. And I've read a couple of Wynn Family cookbooks and learned a lot about not only how to cook and prepare the spiced round, but also how to serve it. And that's what I wanna to talk to you about. Tammy and I have a couple of parties coming up that will involve family. And so we're gonna have quite a few people here. And I think this round will be at least part of our uh, holiday uh, uh, feast. And so I want to talk to you just a little bit about what we have here in the round. Um, the round was covered, you see this nice brownish uh, uh, color, and that is mainly spices. And the spices, again, were ground cloves and um, cinnamon and allspice. And then there were peppers, black pepper, red pepper, cayenne pepper, and then some brown sugar. And so this outer layer of the round is pretty spicy. Uh, you can taste a lot of the pepper in that, uh, in that part. And so it really is beautiful, I think, and it's gonna uh, really show well for this um, holiday uh, party that we're gonna have. But over here, one of the cookbooks that, um, uh, that I read of the Wynn family says this, serving, when cooled, remove the cloth. Place the meat on its most stable side with a very sharp carving knife, not serrated. Remove the entire first layer of meat. Spiced round should be sliced paper thin and served with cooked salad dressing or homemade mayonnaise on saltine crackers. Decorate with a sprig of holly stuck in the uh, marrow of the bone. Well, I don't know if we're going to do all of that, but what this suggests is that you actually remove that outer layer. And you can see how with the little knife, that just, that just cuts off. Um, and you want to eventually cut the round this way, across the grain. So we'll eventually start cutting the round in really paper thin like that. And so that little portion of the round would make a a really good bite on one of these saltine crackers. But what I'm doing right now is I'm basically removing the outer layer. Not all of it, but, but most of it. And you see how pretty it's gonna be. It appears um, kind of like corned beef looks, kind of a pinkish look underneath that, that brown spiced uh, portion. And oh, is it good. Mm. What I have over here are some different uh, mayonnaises. This is a, a mayonnaise that's made with avocado oil and it really is good. And then I've got a mustard, and that's a ground mustard, one of my favorite uh, brands. And here is a cream style horseradish mustard or, or mayonnaise. And so we have three different um, spreads that I'm gonna use on these crackers and also uh, uh, a little bun that's a slider bun. But you can see that these little morsels really do look good. Mm. That's good. And that had a little horseradish, this particular one, and it was really tasty. This is what it looks like on a slider. And you can make those up and serve them at the party as well. I'll take a little bite. That is delicious. And that's made with the mayonnaise that's the avocado oil. Now before we get to our party, I'm gonna be making some of the Wynn family homemade cooked mayonnaise. Uh, Sissy's recipe is the one I'm going to follow. And speaking of Sissy, Sissy was the one who really put me on to this. And I remember when I first saw that spiced round in her pantry, she shared with me that 
each of her 15 grandchildren had helped her to spice the round, one grandchild at a time. She would always spice the round and put the round down, as they say, on the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. And she would get one of the grandchildren out of school to spend the day with their grandmother, spicing the round and putting it down in the brine and talking about all of those family stories and what Sissy remembered about growing up. I think that's the most special aspect of cooking. Um, pickling and canning or just getting ready for the holidays with special recipes. When you can connect them to family stories and can share them with the younger ones in the family, that makes all of this extra worth it. So I'm gonna sign off for now. I think I'm gonna eat a little bit more of this spiced round for supper tonight, but uh, then I'm going to wrap it up in cheesecloth and dampen it as the instructions say. We'll wrap it up in foil, put it in the refrigerator, and we'll be ready to go next Saturday for our first party. Thank you.